Hi there Aquarius, welcome to your reading. The energy is going to be very, very fun and playful and just, um, you're going to enjoy this week, okay? It's, uh, it feels very up and down to me. So it's like one thing happens and you're like, oh no. And then before you know it, immediately there's like a curveball and then it writes itself again. So you're on this kind of like high and low, but I feel like the low is not like emotionally low. It's sort of like, oh no, I wonder what's going to happen. So it's more like that anticipation, the excitement, and it's, it's just a really, I feel like it's a very fun week. Uh, when I was shuffling the cards for you, the image that I saw, I saw this cartoon and uh, it looks to me like one of those, you know, cartoons from the 50s or the 60s where you have like uh, the characters in black and white. So I see this animal and it's a she. Um, she is wearing like possibly red lipstick, but it's black and white, so I can't really tell. And she's um, she's walking. She's walking kind of fast and her hips are kind of swinging. And she's uh, she's blowing a kiss to this other creature that's a male walking behind her and um, you know tell pretty much flirting with him telling him that she's interested and he's following her but she's walking really fast and for some reason he's he's walking really slowly but he's following her and then every few steps like every you know a uh, few seconds she has to turn around and blow another kiss at him and for him to catch up so that's what I'm seeing. So I feel like it's going to be a very flirtatious week. There's going to be a lot of flirtatious communication between you and another person. There will also be um, a lot of playful energy. Every time I see cartoons, in particular for Aquarius, I, I don't see it often, but I feel like it's going to be a very phenomenally just a fun, exciting, playful type of a week, which is something you desperately need, okay? Um, the first thing I'm seeing here with this spread is um, I was trying to figure out, you know, where is all this playfulness coming from? I don't feel like it's coming from other people. I feel like it's coming from you. There's something that you're vowing to do differently. And I'm almost seeing I've got nothing to lose. You know, I don't care what people think about me. If I don't care about how people perceive me, why do I care about being so in control all the time with my emotions? So I definitely see you opening up, you kind of um, speaking more from a heart space, okay? So that basically means if you haven't seen somebody in a long time and you see them in the past, you would just be like, hey, how was your weekend? What did you do? I feel like now you're showing more excitement. It shows in your face, it shows in your demeanor, and it shows in the way in which you excitedly come forward to that person. And I feel like you're, you're doing this because that's what you've always wanted to do, but for some whatever reason in the past you didn't. And so this is a week where you're actually taking you know, those steps to be a lot more expressive to to like let the excitement and the emotions and the feeling uh, not like bottle them up but more like let them show through your facial expression let them show through your intonation the your in, the inflection in your voice so that people know how you feel and um, that that's what I'm feeling and because of that people are very receptive to that energy when you know you're you're beaming and smiling and you're coming towards somebody and you're just like it's so good to see you of course they're going to respond well right who wouldn't respond well so that's what you're doing and i feel like it's uh drawing a lot of attention drawing a lot of people towards you um i'm seeing this um this block of ice and i'm seeing somebody with an ice pick and a hammer and breaking it open so it almost feels to me like, you know, you're no longer the ice king. You're no longer the ice queen. You're embracing people. You're allowing people to kind of um, get to know you. And you're allowing them to kind of enter your inner circle. 
And I, I also feel like, you know, you're, it, it's something is melting your heart. So I don't know, for some of you, it could be a new, a new pet, a new love, um, a new child, a new, something brand new that is giving you a lot of hope that maybe a new job, even a new position, a promotion, there's something new here that's uh, really touched you on a heartfelt level and it's allowing you to open up and it's allowing you to fully express yourself and, and to feel like really comfortable in your own skin. So that's a beautiful energy. And, um, you know, it might be the energy of, um, uh, Mercury retrograde, just, um, ending. It, it might be that because during the Mercury retrograde period, I feel like we are a lot more censored about what we say and we are a lot more. And I feel like for you guys in particular, you get a lot of insights, you get a lot of snippets, you get a lot of genius ideas. And I don't know why that is, but it tends to happen for you guys during the retrograde period. When the planet's no longer there, I feel like, well, when, when the, the, your, the planet of communication is not there to help us, you guys tend to overthink a lot less and you guys learn to follow your heart and follow your intuition. And so you've arrived at some truths about yourself. You've arrived at some truths about how other people perceive you. And so moving forward, I just feel like there's no need to put on pretenses. There's no need to be on the defensive. There's no need to kind of barricade yourself against other people. It's time to let people in. And you know, you're, it's not like you're indiscriminate and in letting everybody in. You're very, you're still discriminate but you're still allowing people in okay so beautiful energy um i see somebody chasing you not in a um creepy scary way but i feel like somebody is um and i feel like this is a somebody that you've been dealing with okay for for some time possibly since june possibly since June for, for many of you, I feel like somebody's coming back into the picture. And um, I feel like, you know, something happened in May, in June, where they were giving you a lot of attention and then something happened, they might have withdrew, they might have uh, felt embarrassed that they were pursuing you so adamantly when you were behaving in a very aloof manner because at the time i feel like you you weren't sure what you wanted and you might have been blowing hot and cold you might have been very detached and i feel like there's an opportunity where they are going to re-enter the picture and you have a, a second chance okay second chances don't happen often but you have a second chance here to right the situation to let the other person know how you feel and to kind of revisit the situation. So I, th I feel like it might have been June. They were giving you a lot of attention and then they felt a little bit embarrassed because you weren't responding in the way that they hoped. Because I feel like it, it was too much, too soon, too fast, and you got scared. And so I'm seeing this person still um, wanting your attention. And you know, I feel like they withdrew and I feel like they got a little bit harsh and the harshness comes from the fact that they were they feel embarrassed or they felt jilted or they felt like you were toying with them so if you can fix this situation please do so because I feel like now you know that you like this person now you know that now you know what you want before you didn't know what you want now you know what you want and so just that alone, I feel like can make the situation better. So if they've been kind of taking jabs at you, or if they've been kind of uh, either aloof or they, they act like they have some resentment towards you, I feel like a, a simple gesture can, can alleviate the situation, can make the situation okay, and will allow you to come back to this person, okay? They were of great assistance to you in the time of June. And I feel like there is an opportunity here to, to come back to this or at least to, you know, 
make amends or at least to clear up the air if you choose to do that. But I feel like the opportunity is coming through. What I'm also feeling as well. Let me get this message. So what I have here, the card is the hermit. And with the hermit in the upright position, I feel like you are divinely, it's, it's weird because I feel like you're divinely guided towards somebody. And I feel like there was a lot of back and forth here with this person. You waited for them, you put a lot of your plans on hold, you waited for them and things just never materialized. And now you're div divinely guided to come back to this person or to, you know, like um, move things along with this person. And I feel like a lot of it, all of this had to happen because your guides were trying to tell you, you were controlling the situation. You wanted it to happen in a very specific manner, in a very specific way, in a way that you envision in your head and you wanted it exactly like that. And then the other person, they operate from a different spectrum, from a different place. They wanted it a specific way. They wanted it to be them making the offer towards you and then you accepting it. Whereas you might have wanted to be, you know, the one making the offer. So I, I feel like there were control issues. You wanted things to be a specific way. And then when the reality deviates from it just a little bit. I feel like it scared you. And then you, whatever progress you made, you backed away from it. So this constant backing, uh, moving forward and then backing off, moving forward, backing off. It dragged on for quite some time for some of you since the June timeframe for others within the past three months. When you, throw out confusing energy you're going to get a lot of confusion back okay what goes around comes around and i feel like at the time when you kept doing that it's because you weren't sure what you wanted and i feel like there were a lot of conditions you know i want it exactly like this and if i can't have it exactly like that then i i don't really want it then I'm going to go with plan B, which is another thing that I want. Like there were a lot of conditions. You can't just let things be. You can't just be easygoing about it. And so I feel like the universe was trying to teach you a very, very profound lesson about being a little bit more flexible, being a little bit more easygoing, being trusting that the universe will deliver not what you want and especially not exactly in the package that you want but the universe will deliver what you need in if you allow the opportunity to come in so i definitely feel like they're telling you you know don't try to control situations just let things flow the more you try to control and honestly i feel like for many of you you might have gotten a lot of uh, tarot readings from different readers and I, I do feel overall, one person might have said this, the other person might have said that, your mind says this, your heart says that, and, and each person was interpreting because your, your, your wants and your desires are really, really strong. They might have interpreted your desires rather than you know the, the energies that will play out for you because you were trying so hard to control. And I feel like it created a lot of confusion for you guys. So. You might want to be cognizant of that, okay? Uh, ease up. Let the situation naturally unfold. And along with it, you know, be flexible, be easygoing, be playful. And just let things be. So, love relationships, I feel, will be really playful, will be really good for this week. Money will be really good. Um, I see some of you are stacking up, like um, saving up, monitoring how much your expenditures are, 
um, creating some type of budget for yourself as well. Not that you're in financial dire strait, but I feel like you're becoming a lot more responsible when it comes to your earnings, when it comes to your income, when it comes to allocating certain amount of money for certain things. And I definitely feel like a minimal, uh, excuse me, minimizing of excessive spending. Okay. You're getting into a more functional way of handling your finances, handling the routine surrounding your life. So I see people going very um, minimalist. So that means getting rid of things in your home that are not necessary, that are not needed. You don't like clutter, you don't like junk. And so I'm also seeing people having a very, very functional view when it comes to food as well. Um, so for some of you, and you know the the, the foodie thing, it, it's a it, it's a very uh, big craze right now. So I, I feel like a lot of you might have spent a lot of money splurging on really expensive restaurants. You know, you're like trying to find the the um, like a culinary masterpiece, and some of you are just like, no, I'd rather just have my soup and salad, you know, every day, and as long as it, it's um, is nutritious, I, I should be fine. So I feel like you're you're getting back to the bare minimum, like the, the basics when it comes to food, when it comes to the things that you want in the past or when it comes to, to the things that you you do. It's almost like having a little bit more of a functional viewpoint when it comes to food, like I need it to survive, so I'm just going to eat it. So you're less picky about what you're eating. Um, you're more health conscious, I feel. You're also more time conscious, like I have 30 minutes, I'm just going to eat something so I can keep going. So I feel like you're, you're time conscious, time is important for you. And you realize that, you know, going through Yelp, going to Google, like to, to look at ratings, to look at um, customers reviews, like these things are time consuming, you don't have time for it. So you're not going to be doing that. And so I feel like many of you are, are viewing food in a more functional manner. I'm also sensing as well, just like this heightened sense of awareness, looking at the bigger picture, um, seeing some of the things that we have, um, seeing things that we have done in the past, especially that really uh, hurt a situation and, and looking at, you know, in the future, I'm vowing not to do that again. So learning from mistakes, learning from past mistakes. So for example, I see some of you, and I feel like this message might apply for majority. Um, many of you are very, very, um, you have a very low tolerance when it comes to lazy people. And um, so, you know, that's fine. You also have a very low tolerance for um, incompetence, okay? And if someone is lazy and incompetent, oh my gosh, that's like your ultimate pet peeve. And I feel like, I, I feel like you have dealt with somebody like this. And I feel like, you know, you, you had a short fuse when you were dealing with them. But you're looking back at your past behavior and you're not really proud of how you handle the situation and you might feel bad and you might not have felt proud of how you treated that person. And so what I feel is uh, making amends, making amends for, for um, some of you are physically saying, hey, I'm really sorry to the other person. While others of you are just like, I'm not going to do that again. I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, this, uh, I'm not going to be a jerk about it. And then I also feel some of you um, rushing through things is what I'm sensing. Like um, just wanting to get things over with when you should have really enjoyed the process, when you should have really enjoyed um, just the flow of things. So learning to be a lot more easygoing. So just think about it, like whatever energy you're putting out is the energy that you're going to get back. Okay. And I feel like many of you are becoming not only, not only are you listening to those words, like in the past, you might've been like, okay, what goes around comes around. 
Um, and we usually, you know, it, it usually has a negative connotation, right? Like karma, what goes around comes around. But I feel like you're looking at it now from a more glass half full type of a mentality where if I give out this really nice, playful, buoyant energy, the people coming towards me will also also exude that energy. Whereas if I try to control everything and if, if I, you know, try to um, create things a, in a very specific way, the energies and the people coming around me are going to be just as rigid. So I definitely see a change when it comes to the way in which you guys are viewing things and situations. So because of that, it's going to really free up your energy and it's going to make you feel a lot more at ease, a lot more easygoing and just your ability to really enjoy your life and to really live it without wanting to change it. Okay, so it's like letting things be, which is really good. Um, I keep seeing this person coming back in, like, um, I'm seeing this arrow and it's, um, it's, it's like full circle. So the arrow is going around kind of like the face of a clock. Okay. So I, I feel like something's coming full circle. If you've been waiting on a person, if you've been waiting on a person, um, to either make contact, to come back to you and to, or to realize I feel like you were enticing this person or you were showing them how you felt about them, but they felt like you were playing games with them. They felt like you were like this with everybody. And so they didn't trust it. But I, I definitely feel like, you know, there's, there is a, this person's coming back full circle and there is some type of a gesture, some type of a gesture from them to you. And it's going to allow, you know, communication to, to happen. Um, I keep seeing rather than communicating, if, if it has been problematic as well for the two of you, rather than communicating, they're going to, it, it's, they're going to do things a different way to show you. And so that might be an advice for many of you. If words fail, if you get tongue tied in their presence, if you feel like you can't, you know, have a conversation without jabbing at each other, or if you feel like you get flustered and, and embarrassed about expressing your emotions, let the gestures do the talking. So maybe we should stop talking, but, you know, just kind of like look at each other and just um, make gestures or, or, you know, do things instead of talk about things. Maybe just do things and that will allow the other person to see how you feel about them okay so if words fail show it through your actions um i see a lot of people with opportunities for like dating and one night stand and you're going to be very well received okay so if you're looking if you're not looking for a relationship and some of you very well could not like might not want a relationship but I definitely see like a lot of options, a lot of people um, coming to tell you, hey, I like you. Do you want to just go on a date? I see that. And um, they're going to be pretty blunt about it, too. Like, you know, they could be like, oh, um, I'm married, but I am a swinger, for example. Or they can say, like, I'm in a relationship, but it's rocky. And right now we're on a break. So do you want to date me? You know, do you want to go on a date? And so they're going to make the intentions pretty clear about what they want from you. And it's going to be something short term. If you're OK with that, those are opportunities that are coming into the picture. A lot of them. Um, if you are. Yeah, so I, I do see a lot of text messages, communication through electronic channels. What I have here is a seven of cups. So this is a lot of it is coming in. Um, electronic communication, dating, and, you know, dating apps, dating websites, and things like that. I'm also sensing as well, um, hearing from somebody that you want to hear from. What I have here is the wish card. We have the star. 
So it's also indicative of electronic communication, looking at pictures and things like that. But I definitely feel like you're going to get some type of communication from somebody that you really uh, have been waiting on. I see people asking around if you're single. So especially at work, I, I feel like people are are wondering, you know, is, is the Aquarius person single? Are they married? Um, are they dating? Where they, like people are finding out details about you, uh, not in a bad, creepy way, but I feel like they're showing, they're, they're expressing interest. Or you might have kept, you know, things close to your chest. You might not have been very revealing about uh, your personal life. And so there, I feel like you're kind of like the, uh, the object, the, the subject of many conversations where they're they're like is the Aquarius person single do they have family here do they um, are they married do they have children uh, what do they like what kind of foods do they like what kind of uh, things do they like to do what kind of activities so I definitely feel that but though the weird thing is they're talking amongst them each other but I feel like people don't really know you it's almost like, what is the Aquarian person like? And no one has the answer. That's what it feels like. Because I feel like you, you've been pretty good about, you know, uh, not divulging too much information about yourself. Because I, I feel like most of you, you don't hog the, the spotlight. And you don't like to direct all conversations back to yourself. And so people might not know as much about you. You can have a lot of conversations about, like, very... Um, about ideas and you know current events and things like that but I feel like people don't really know a lot about you and so this is the week where you start to hear these questions and you're gonna start to open up so you're getting a lot of attention positive attention Aquarius um, I see a return of a past situation if it never got off the ground I feel like it has the potential to do so I see somebody who is uh, giving you a lot of attention giving you a lot of attention somebody's like you know following you chasing you giving you a lot of attention so I feel like this is a really kind person okay I have here the six of coins this is a card about generosity so I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really kind who believes it's almost like they see a lot of good things about you for some of you I feel like this is a romantic you know interest somebody who's very kind and then for others I feel like this might be like a boss a supervisor a manager somebody high up who is very aware of your contributions and they want to um, they want to recognize or they want to acknowledge everything that you've done and I'm also feeling like with this week, we start out here with the six of coins and the star. So whatever energies you're giving out, it's coming back to you. So make sure, and I feel for many of you, it's coming back in a very fulfilling, heartfelt, fulfilling, emotionally rewarding way, okay? It's like, wow, I, I all this time I thought I was not noticed, but I'm being recognized and I am being noticed so you definitely have some good things and I feel like in the love front things have always been kind of shaky for Aquarius people because you know a lot of people don't understand you guys and you guys are quite secretive and guarded with your feelings because you feel like vulnerability makes you appear weak okay but like what I see here is an opportunity for you to express things from the heart and to show through gestures, you know, through through actions, that you, how you feel about another person. So, I see gift giving as well. So, uh, we are heading into, you know, Christmas season. Um, I see gift giving. And I, I definitely see, like, some, some good things coming your way. Expressions of love in terms of gift giving as well. You know, somebody giving you something. And it's going to be a really good week so I'm going to leave it at that um, keep your head high and you know definitely open up okay uh, I will talk to you guys in about a week's time and take care of yourself uh, best of luck with everything for this week I'll see you guys soon